chapter 5 is our theme scripture for uh, the month of um, February. And next month we'll start a new series about teaching disciples to obey Jesus. Amen. 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 So in, in, in Romans 5.5, 5, it says, And hope maketh not shame, because the love of God and people aren't get excited about that now. Amen. Glory. I said people aren't get excited about that now. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Because the love of God. Um, uh, in the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, they knew about the love of God. But it was never as far as received in their hearts. <laughs> never received in their hearts. Mm -hmm. They knew about the love of God. But the love of God was never received <clears throat> in uh, their hearts mm -hmm. couldn't be because of uh, man's nature mm -hmm. but Jesus came and redeemed us yeah. in order that the love of the Father could be birthed in our hearts and how many of y'all thankful for that? Thank you Jesus! And so here it says because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, all right, all right, which is given unto us, yes. and there's many things that you know we need to know and to understand concerning the uh, the love of God. Turn your Bibles over to John 14, and in John 14, John 14, Jesus says here in verse one. Let not your heart be troubled. All right. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Mm -hmm. In my Father's house are many mansions. Mm -hmm. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for oh. you. All right. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. All right. Mm -hmm. And receive you unto myself. That where I am, that ye may be also. Glory. Mm -hmm. Glory. That's a shout news there. Yes. Yes. That's, yes. yes. That's a promise. That's a promise. That's a promise. Mm -hmm. yes. A promise for prepared people. Mm -hmm. And whether I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Mm -hmm. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way. This has not changed. That's right. That's right. Amen. It has not changed. Mm -hmm. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth that has not changed. That's right. And I am the life that has not changed. Mm -hmm. One thing we do know, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. And so praise God for that. Amen. Amen. And then, and then Jesus goes on to say in verse 7, if conditional, this is conditional. Mm -hmm. If ye had known me, if ye had known me, the problem in most churches is people don't get to know Jesus. Amen. They get to know about him, but they don't get to know him. They get to know about scriptures because a whole lot of scriptures are taught to them, but they don't get to know Jesus. One thing you don't never, one thing you don't never want to happen to you, I say to you. All right. Go ahead. I said to you yeah. that 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 in all the teaching that you receive, they leave Jesus out. Yeah. Yeah. Glory. Because people do. Yeah. yeah. They'll leave Jesus out. Mm -hmm. And when people leave Jesus out, you don't get a true picture of love. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You don't get a true picture of the Father. That's right. And how much he loved the Son. Mm-hmm. And how much the son loved him. Mm -hmm. And how much both of them really love you. Amen, amen, amen. And how much you really should love them. Yes. And then how much you really should love one another. Right. Glory. You know, you know there's some Glory. people who can share a whole lot of scripture with you, but they just mean as hell. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they don't have no true picture of the son. Mm. You get a true picture of the son. Because this is what Jesus is saying here. He's saying here, if ye had known me, he should have known 
my father also. Now, one thing we know about the father, uh, Jesus, God, Jesus, what, the, what the word says, God is love. Yeah. So if you had to know my father, you would know something about, come on, help me out. Yeah. Yeah. I won't buy him. You would know something about love. Mm -hmm. If you had to know me, you should have known my father also. Mm -hmm. Not just know me, but my father also. And knowing my father, you would know me. Yes. Mm -hmm. And from henceforth, ye know him and have seen him. What? <laughs> Phil said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me? Right. I thought he asked a question about, show us the Father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tell him. But he said, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Jesus says, Jesus says, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? Mm -hmm. He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. Yeah. Glory. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Mm -hmm. Believest thou that I am in the Father? And the Father in me. Amen. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 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 And, and we ought to be so thankful for the work of love. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Indeed. Jesus. We ought to be so thankful for the work of God's love. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Now, now, now what, what mm -hmm. thing I, I want y'all to get today, turn your Bibles over to 1 John. 1 John chapter 4 and verse uh, 18. 1 John 4, 18. I really want y'all to get this today. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. I want you to really get this today. And um, and like we already went told you, you can't leave love out. If you're talking about love, you're talking about how Jesus loved you. Mm -hmm. How Jesus came and demonstrated the Father's love. And so here in this verse, verse 18, it says, There is no fear in love. How I many you're thankful for that? Yes, yes Jesus. Jesus. And so one thing is, is that the devil. The devil will fight overtime to keep you from love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To keep you away from the love of God. The devil will fight overtime to keep you away from the love of God. Yes. Amen. That's what he'll do. He'll, That's true. He, he, won't, he won't fight tough to keep you away from scriptures. That's right. Amen. The devil knows scripture. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And so religious people know scripture. The devil knows scripture. Religious people know scripture. Uh -huh. But he wants to keep you from love. <coughs> it says there is no fear in love. You know why people don't get, you know why people don't get over fear? Because they're not in love. Mm -hmm. Glory. I'm talking about in love. Right. Yeah. yeah. There's a difference with how I'm saying that. Mm -hmm. They 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 not in a dwelling place, a place of dwelling. Yeah. Yeah. Where where love has taken up residence. They don't they don't know anything about that. People talking about they in love, but they have not allowed love to take up a permanent place in their life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glory. Resident in their life. They have not allowed love to be a dwelling place in them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's why they don't never get over fear. Mm -hmm. That's right. They just have temporary relief. I mean you have a headache, a lot of people rather take uh, Tylenol or Bear or you know whatever or, I don't, or whatever that stuff is. Mm -hmm. They better take that than just like lay hands on your head. You know you gotta learn how to lay hands on your head sometimes. That's, That's right. right. You gotta learn, you gotta learn how to lay hands on yourself sometimes. That's right. Yeah. The first thing you always think is popping a pill. <laughs> Yourself and speaking to your own physical body, and said, "Be thou healed in the name of Jesus." Glory, woo, glory. Ain't nothing wrong with 
wrong with popping a pill. Don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with popping a pill. Because, you, you know, ain't nothing wrong with popping a pill. You need a pill, take a pill. <laughs> take a chill pill. <laughs> take a love pill. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. But um, take a gospel pill. Amen. <laughs> like that too. Take a gospel pill. But, 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 but it says here, there is no fear in love. That's right. Perfect love casteth out fear. That's right. Now, now, how does love become perfect in your life? How is it perfect love? Jesus. The, 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 word, the word here, perfect, mm -hmm. basically, in the Greek means patience. All right. Mm -hmm. It means patience. That's, right. That's really what it means here. <clears throat> See, too many people are not patient with this love that's on the inside of them. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. That's true. You can't see like, see like we like we said, there's no fear in love. So this this love is in your life at a place. It's in your place. The love of God is in you now. Woo. It's in you now, Woo. and you have to have some patience, <laughs> obeying this love of God right. on the inside of you, right. and, and 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 it, it will become mature. It will grow. It will be perfected in you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. All right. That's all you're going to want to live by. Yeah. And as you live by this kind of love on the inside of you, it will drive out. Somebody said drive out. Drive, drive out. out. It will drive out fear. Glory. Because what do you have to know about a God is that God has not given you a spirit of fear. Amen. Amen. So, so what can you put there? Love of and how Jesus loved you on the cross has not given you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind. That's all I'm giving. He has not changed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for that. Yes. Glory to God. I remember, I remember years ago, one of my members said, years ago, they, they're not here now, so one of my members said, well, Pastor, ain't nothing wrong with having a little fear. Everybody got a little fear. Mm -hmm. I said, that don't even know, that don't even line up the scripture. <laughs> because the devil knows if he knows that he can get you to embrace a little fear, right. yeah. it will be perfected fear. Right. Yeah. Right. They gotta catch that. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. It will drive out you living by the love of God. Right. That's what it'll do. Mm -hmm. That's what it'll do. He'd rather for you to give a little place to that little fear, and then that fear would be could become perfected fear. Mm -hmm. But there's no fear in love. Mm -hmm. But perfect love casteth out fear. Mm -hmm. Because fear have torment. That, that, that word torment there means mental agony. Right. It means punishment. Fear has torment. If your mentality is, is mental agony, being agonized all the time, mm -hmm. you got a fear problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If if torment, uh it, it says because fear has torment, you being punished. You gotta know. You need to make some adjustments. I said, you, you need to know, you need to make some adjustment. Yes, sir. But, but people, people who go to church, they get comfortable with living with mental agony. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. They get comfortable with living with punishment. Yes, yeah. They get comfortable. Yeah. They get comfortable with being tormented by the devil. They get comfortable. And they'll kick you out of their life. To keep the torment. Yeah. To keep you. I've seen people do me like that. Mm -hmm. They don't want to be free. They don't want to be free. They stop coming to church. They don't want to be free. Mm -hmm. They stop coming to Bible study. They don't want to be free. Mm -hmm. They stop coming to worship and, and Sunday school and fellowship because they really don't want to be free. Yeah. yeah. Amen. That's true. Yeah, because they enjoy mental agony yeah. and they enjoy punishment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. that comes from fear. But when you've been set free, 
Hallelujah. I've dealt and I lived with fear, but now I'm living in this perfect love. And living in this perfect love is so much better. Glory. Yeah, I feel so much better since I laid down my fear. That's right. Hallelujah. Thank God for this. I'd rather God's love to torment me. Right now. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You're gonna catch that. I would rather for God's love to torment me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Set you right. To set you right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so it says, He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says that you're not practicing living, growing in, maturing in. This kind of love that's been shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. You got to have patience with God's love on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, y'all get that? Say, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. And so, so, the love of God has been <laughs> shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Ghost. Now, now. If, if you turn your Bibles over to 1 John 5, this is one of our favorites too. Mm -hmm. Because we're like, what is the love of God? What is the love of God? For this is the love of God. For this is the love of God. Mm -hmm. That we keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. And his commandments are not grievous. Mm -hmm. Now that sounds real good. That sounds real plain. Sounds good. And it, it, it's, 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 it's not as hard or difficult as people think. When you allow the Holy Spirit to control your life. Yes. Yeah. Amen. And too often we don't live a spirit controlled life. Amen. That's good. Because he's going to help us. Yes. Oh yeah. Thank mm -hmm. God. And thank God for the helper. Yes. Amen. I said thank God for the helper. Amen. Amen. And thank God for the Holy Spirit. See, see, yeah. see, it's it, it's no way for the Holy Spirit. I, I share this, I share this all the time. It's no way for the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity, to come in you and you not know he's there. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Amen. God can't show up in your life and you not know he's there. Amen. God cannot show up. Yes. Right. Amen. In your life. Mm -hmm. And he not some kind of way lets you know he's in you. Yes. Yeah. Hey, I'm yeah. here. I'm God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm God. Yeah. And Whoa. so it so it says here in the uh, Amplified Bible, for the true love of God is this. The true love of God is this. Mm. That we do his commands, keep his ordinances. And are mindful of his precepts and teaching. And these orders of his are not irksome, burdensome, oppressive, or grievous. Now, one thing here about keeping, he's not asking us if we want to or not. Right. Here it says he's giving some orders mm -hmm. yeah. to follow. He's giving some orders to follow. Mm -hmm. Commands. And he's saying, just do it. Don't look for options. Don't look for alternative. Don't 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 look to try to. Um, um, don't 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 look to to don't 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 look to try to lessen mm -hmm. what I'm telling you to do. Right. Don't make light of what I'm telling you to do. Amen. Just Amen. do what I tell you to do. Amen. Now right. now. Well, one thing is, yesterday the Lord told me, you know, to tell everybody, um, because fear has torment, and then to really get a good picture, true picture, because it says here, this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. And so what's in your life? What's in your life that you know you're not keeping, that he's ordered or commanded you to do? What's in your life? That's really showing you don't love him. Mm -hmm. That you don't love him. 
what's, what's in your life that's sin. Now, I know a lot of times we want to use the word mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> and I know a lot of times now people want to use the word, you know, partner or alternative lifestyle. And but it's just not what the Bible calls it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Sin. Mm -hmm. So what's in your life that's sin? Because <clears throat> we don't like to use that word sin. Mm -hmm. We like to make people feel comfortable. You just made a mistake. No, no, but many people it's not a mistake. Mm -hmm. They deliberately willing. Mm -hmm. participated right. mm -hmm. with disobedience. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so it's not really it's not really you know naming all the sins that's important. Mm -hmm. But what's important is is that is, is that what's really important mm -hmm. is how much do we really love God? Yeah. Because many times what we do is that we'll get off and we'll point fingers at this person and that person because they commit this sin and that sin. No, no. The, the thing is, do you really love God? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Do you really love him? You're on point. Do you really love him? Because that's the root of the matter. Yeah. Do you really love him? That's right. And we love him did he really love you? Yes. From the cross. Did he really love you? Oh, yeah. Do you know that he loves you today? Yeah. Do you really know he's going to love you tomorrow? Yes. And so the question is, or the statement is, we love him because he first loved us. So I know he loved me. <laughs> I know that. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times, though, we good. And pointing out, and there's a place to point out sin. There's a place to do that. But what we have to really do is get people to live how much Jesus loved them. Yeah. 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 And then they are given the right corresponding action. Yes. I love him. And there's proof in my actions. I love him because he first Love me. And so the thing is, what, what, what is it that you have in your life that's sin? Yeah. That you need to allow perfect love to cast it out today. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, the thing is, as we get closer to the Lord's return, as we get closer, mm -hmm. sin will begin to dominate the lives of people who choose to live a life of disobedience to God's love and it will cause many love to wax cold mm -hmm. yeah. because the nicotine is abounded in their hearts. Yeah. yeah. And then you just, you know, just, you know, just check some people out who go to church and see if their love is waxing cold, waxing cold. Just see if their love waxing cold. Just see if people who used to go to church don't go now. And just see if their love for God is waxing. Now, I ain't talking about just for you. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about towards God. Yeah. If it's waxing cold, they don't love him. They don't love him. That's right. They don't love him. They got sin in their life. If their love is waxing cold, they have sin in their life. And so God, 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 God wants us to grow up. In his love, he wants us to mature in his love. He wants a perfect love. Yes. He wants love to be perfected. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 And so, so, you turn your Bibles over to Matthew 22. Matthew 22. But you'll see this and you'll hear this and you'll hear it and you'll see it. You'll see it and you'll hear it and you'll hear it and you'll see it. Talking about the great commandment. The great commandment. Verse 34 says, But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, 
the Pharisees needed to be put to silent too. <laughs> <laughs> they talked too much. Amen. They were very religious. Yeah. So you got one religious group happy because <laughs> another religious group was put to silence. Yeah. And both of them was wrong when yeah. it came to Jesus. Right. right. And so, but when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were they were gathered together. Then one of them, which was the lawyer, mm -hmm. asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Mm -hmm. People said this is what we're supposed to live by as Christians and as believers. And this is good for this is good for sinners and lost people. You know, I'm glad they have a you know, they, I'm, I'm glad they have something pointing them towards God. Amen. Something pointing them how to treat one another. Right. They need something. But you ain't gonna get no saving grace out of it. Yeah, that's right. You don't get, get no saving grace out of it. Because really in the law, it just pointed man to the fact that he needed a savior, that he was a sinner in need of a savior. Right. Right. Preach, preach. right. That's what that point. But there, but one thing we do know in the law, there's no grace there. That's true. No saving grace there in the law. You don't find it in the law. That's yeah. right. And so then. Uh, it says on these two hang all the law and the prophets. One thing you need to know and understand. I'm just talking about love here, right? Right. It says, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and, and all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And people got stuck right here. Mm -hmm. They stuck right here. They stuck right here. Well, you know what's missing? Get this. Don't forget this. Jesus is my picture of how to love. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Jesus. Not the law. Mm -hmm. Not the prophets. Mm -hmm. Because what did Jesus say to Philip? Philip, mm -hmm. check this out. Can you see me? Yes. You've seen the Father. Father. Mm -hmm. And you've seen the love. <laughs> <laughs> So Praise Jesus God. is my picture of how to love. Mm -hmm. Amen. Without, without Jesus giving you a picture, you don't know how to love. Mm -hmm. You don't know how to love him, and you don't know how to love one another. <laughs> because in the law, it says an eye for an eye, two for a two. Do unto you as you did. Under me. And that how and I'm so glad that God demonstrated his love towards us. Yeah, yeah. Didn't give us what we rightfully deserve. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. But in the law, children disobeyed their parents. They could be stoned to death. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. If we was living by that, it wouldn't be too many children alive today. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. You might not be here. <laughs> and that's sad. Mm -hmm. That's sad. That's really sad. Yeah. That's sad. And so all these people who want you to live by the law, they don't want to really live by it. Mm -hmm. They really don't. That's right. They blind to the picture of love that came in and through Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And so then when you have a religion that lives by the law, now you have these church folks trying to throw stones at them living by something that they preach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's what you have. That's what you have. That's what you have. And you know what that sounds like? People being <clears throat> hypocritical. Right. That's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. But Jesus came. 
and Jesus is mine. I can't, I can't speak this for yourself. I can't, I can't speak this for you. I just live by, I just live by, I just know to live by. Jesus is my picture mm -hmm. of how to love. Yeah. yeah. How he loves is the way he desires for me to love. That's right. Amen. Y'all get that? Yes. See, I got it. Yes. I got it. Now, 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 it's important. Look in, look in 1 John 4, 21. 1 John 4, 21. I got to fill you with love today because this is my last message on love. So I got I to have a, you got to get an overflow today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. You have to get an overflow. Yeah. And so, in, in 1 John 4, verse uh, 21, is that what I said? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Verse 21 says, And this commandment have we from, from him, that he who loveth God love, love his brother also. <laughs> and, and verse 21 amplifies, says, And this command, charge, order, injunction, we have from him, that he who loves God shall love his brother, believer also. Now, how you gonna love your brother? By the picture you have received from who? Jesus. Yeah. From the picture. Because mm -hmm. Jesus is my picture mm -hmm. yeah. of how to love. That's right. Uh huh. And so, and so, he, he's also my picture of how to love his father, mm -hmm. yeah, which is your father. That's right. That's right. He's your picture. Mm -hmm. And thank God, he gave us a perfect picture. Mm -hmm. Amen. Of how to love Father God and how to love our brothers. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Fellow believers. And so one one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, anybody come to Family of Faith Church, they ought to feel and, and sense the very spirit of God's love. Yes. It's a whole lot of stuff people people talk about at churches and at church. Mm -hmm. But we gotta keep the main thing the main thing. Amen. Ought to be a house of prayer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ought to be a place where God's love is through Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. And people know mm -hmm. that we love it like Jesus. Because mm -hmm. we believers. Amen. 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 Because we are believers. <clears throat> Y'all get that? Yes. yes. Oh, I'm glad you got that. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> Turn over to 1 John chapter 3. 1 John 3. Is that what I said? Yes, yes sir. First John 3 and verse 22. And it says, And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. Now that's a good place to be. Because, you know, uh, love, love puts you in a place to receive of him. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. I said, love puts you in a place to receive of him. Mm -hmm. Because for God so loved the world that he gave. Love gives. Yes. 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 And we want we need to make sure we in the right position in order that we might receive what love gives. Y'all mm -hmm. get that? Mm -hmm. yes. And so and whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep, because we keep, because we keep mm -hmm. his his what? Commandments. Commandments. We keep his commandments. 